Hello, <laughs> and welcome back to our channel. I'm April, founder and creator of Lena's Pearls, and today we are reintroducing my hubby, Josh, yes. who's joining us for this yes. awesome Hello, series, everyone. The Truth About Marriage, Episode 2. And this series that we're going to be doing is going to be about, well, you can tell them, babe, because I did all the talking last okay. time. No, well, we're going to be discussing sex as far as marriage versus relationships and just go a little more in depth. Right. With it. Needs and wants. So under the needs and wants, I guess, series, we're going to be discussing sex, finances, baggage, and emotional needs. So in today's episode, we're going to talk all about sex. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about sex, baby. <laughs> and I actually have mine because I see what it was last episode. Yes, I have mine. <laughs> so, well, you know he has his. <laughs> so, yes, I actually have mine. Ooh, ooh, so, sit back, relax, get your glasses, <laughs> and let's get it started. Oh, I'm supposed to go now? Yeah, it's you. Oh. It's all on you, boo. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to discuss, uh, start off with wants and needs when it comes to sex. So, in a marriage, it's really more of a, a team thing. It's more of a being on the same page like we discussed before. But you really have to hone in on wants versus needs. Like a lot of guys say, oh, well, I need sex seven days a week versus what you really want. Because sometimes you might get what you, you, you are asking for when it comes to needs, but in all reality, like just me personally, I'm good with three times a week. Sometimes less than that, depending on how intense the session was. Mm -hmm. So we just have to learn our, our, well, since we're talking about marriage, as far mm -hmm. as with my wife, we actually had to learn each other mm -hmm. and really figure out the wants versus the needs, and we really had to... There was times we actually sit down and had conversations as yep. far as likes, dislikes, yep. as far as what was what and this and that. Because there were some times where we was butting heads and it wasn't always good. No. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. And then, too, like not just your own wants and needs, like you were saying, but, you know, Josh is good with about three to four. And then as a woman, you know, we go through our cycle. We go yes. through different hormonal changes. And yes. sometimes that three times a week ain't enough for me. Sometimes. <laughs> well, we're, look, we're being real. You know, I remember one time you said you came home and you had told somebody. He was like, oh, God, I hope April ain't going to jump on me because I'm so tired. Yeah, no, look, sometimes <laughs> it gets like that. That's what I say. It's, it's not always. Sometimes it, it, it's it's the, the the roles are reversed. Right, right. Where right. and it's about communication. I mean, at the exactly. end of the day, yes. all of it is about <laughs> communication. All of it is. And just a little side note on the entire thing. You know, you have to understand that this is your partner forever. This is your life partner. You're not enemies. You're not against yes. each other. So you have to communicate and work together to obtain and make sure that you're both, not only that you're fulfilling each yes, other, but you're also being fulfilled. You have to communicate, you know. Um, and then remember, we talked in the very first episode, you know, depending on your work schedules, your career, somebody might not be home all the time. Yeah. You really have to sit down and talk about what we're gonna do. And let's just go real with it, you know. If you're not together, that's what phone sex is about. That's what Skype is about and all these little apps yeah, and stuff like that, yeah. putting on the sexy, sexy and getting on video. Shoot, we still do that. Even she though. surprised me just the other day, sending me some pictures, even though I was supposed to be looking at her hair. Babe! <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> she asked me how, about how her hair looks, and I was looking at other things. Yeah, he was like, oh, you sending me teasing pictures? I'm like, what? Can you look at my hair and tell me if you like my hair? Hey. I want a second opinion here. <laughs> but anyway, yes. Men are visual. <laughs> yeah, I learned that. But anyway, so yes, you have to, you know, learn each other. You really do. You have to communicate and learn each other. You, you, you truly honestly do because at the end of the day, it's for the benefit of both of you yes. to actually understand what you need, how many times you need it, 
what pace, what this, what, especially when you have you factor in children, if you have people that live with you guys, you know, maybe you have in-laws living or you live with, you just, you have yeah, you to communicate. you might have to wait for people to go to sleep. You know, and. I like, might have to have sneak to out, out in the garage, in the yeah, car. Yeah, we about that stuff just, too. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, you got to do what works, you know what I'm saying? So, at the, that's the point, you know, it's about the both of you. When it's all said and done, it's about the both of you and coming to a mutual agreement. Um. And then I guess that can take us into our next subject, which is moods and desires. Yeah. So that's pretty much hand in hand. These are all dominoes that pretty much fall together. So, you know, with the wants and needs, part of that communication is learning moods and desires, learning your spouse's mood and reading that, you know, there was a time that um, I got some devastating news. I was out running. I got home late. And I just needed, I needed to cry. I needed to um, vent. I needed to scream. I needed to, I needed my dog. Like I needed us to both get on the same page and yes. say, what are we going to do to handle this? <laughs> I needed my rider, you know, and he was in the mood of being my lover. <laughs> Came home and I felt so bad. I saw the candles out and things were ready and he had to switch. Like it was like, and I yeah. felt, I felt horrible because I really needed to cry to him and he wanted to make love to his wife. <laughs> And so that's what, you know, you have, but he had to, he shifted. Yes. Remember we that's talked about the, the first episode, comes in, er, you know, and <laughs> I mean, you know, then get into what happened later, but you know, he had to turn into my dog, my, my like, oh, okay, this is what we, this is what happened. This is, we going, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. And that's, you know, really that's kind of, you have to read each other. You have to learn each other. And it's a constant um, process because everyone changes. You know, what I may have liked in the beginning and you liked in the beginning, maybe we like a little more of that than we did before. Yeah. Maybe we like a little less of that than we did before. You know, you, you grow, mature, the things change. It's not always going to be the same. And then you have to learn the desires and what your the key points in and pulling your mate closer to you and, and, and vibing so that you can have an, an, a decent, intimate session. Because yeah. if you was thinking... No, look, you read there, it wrong. Look, there's been times. Look, like I said, we're keeping it real. Yep, this channel there's is all about keeping it real. There's been times where I, I'm thinking, okay, we're going to have some foreplay. We're going to get into it, and it's going to be this nice long session. And, and time, she just, look, Daddy, I, I, this is what I need. <laughs> and it was just, <laughs> and just get right to it. No foreplay, no nothing. But look, we both got <laughs> satisfied. We both, once the needs was met, and. We keep it moving, and then sometimes you have to be the recipro the, the 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 receiver of that. Sometimes you know, like not only the doer, but there's times where you know he does want to slow it down, or he does want to go faster, and he wants a different pace. And I'm all about ah, like <laughs> like I've been thinking about you all day. I just can you <laughs> like come like you know. But then I've that I've had to receive that where I've wanted yes. to slow it down, and I was put on my cute little nighty, and you know, and. Next thing I know, I was getting bent over and like I was yeah. like, "Well, what happened? I thought I I thought you read the the read the outfit. <laughs> I thought you read this. I thought you saw it. This I put on my special no, lotion." That's, and, that's what I say. There's know. times where it's just like that where yeah. where you're still communicating. <laughs> it, it's still going to happen, but it just didn't go as planned. But <laughs> and it's okay because at the end of the day, you got all you got the, the rest of your life to figure it out. And go through it and, and up and down, left and right. And, you know, um, it's you got to keep it. It has to be fun. It has to be mutual. And it has to be the the core of it all. And I always say the core. But you have to um, realize that you're on the same team. And it's about each other. And then I guess and that's where go it goes into the next subject about not being selfish. Mm -hmm. you, you always have to think about, like when I was young, especially, you know, just starting out get that first one and you just want to go at it like a rabbit. When I was young, I wasn't thinking about who I was doing and, and if they was getting theirs, mm -hmm. I was just, let me get mine. I'm good. And that's, so once you actually get in a relationship and a, and a marriage, you can't think like that. You actually have to be like, Oh, well, did she get hers? Because if I just jumped in, got mine and she ain't get hers, then what's, going to make her want to do it again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like there's going to be no round two if she didn't get nothing in round one <laughs> that's exactly. it's kind of almost going to be where it's a little not hostile but I, i'll say where like a letdown like 
that's where you have to stop being selfish and make sure that your partner's needs and, and wants are met and, and she gets satisfied too. Because in all reality, when she's satisfied, you're going to get it even more. Exactly. <laughs> Fellas, listen, if your wife, if and, it, and we can talk about emotional and all that stuff too, but a lot of times if if she's not getting hers and, you know, hey, if, if wifey is shutting it down on you and, and you know, I mean, typically you kind of know, you, you kind of know when you're being a little selfish and one-sided in the bedroom. And so, yes. you know, if, if wifey's shutting it down and she's looking at you like no and always got a headache and trying to get to bed after you done fell asleep and all the other ways we can go into this, yeah. You might want to check yourself. You might want to check it. But then that also goes on the flip side, too. You know, um, there, there's always going to be, you know, typically it's the woman's not doesn't have the highest sex drive as the man. Da, 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 da. But, you know, there's always going to be the partner that has a higher sex drive than the other. Now, there's th those rare marriages. <laughs> I do believe they exist. <laughs> Where they both like, and it's like, boom, and you know, <laughs> hey, have at it, congratulations. <laughs> but typically, there is going to be a partner who is a little bit more sexual and has a higher sex drive than the yes. other, where it don't take much. You look at me and we ready. <laughs> you know, you don't even act like you're getting ready to put your toe on me because we getting ready to get it in. And then, I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> sound a little, sound a little familiar, <laughs> babe. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, you have to, you have to reassess that and you, you have to, the partner that is not as highly sexual does have to, this goes into the selfishness. And it's not necessarily selfishness because I understand that there are times where it's, it's not just really selfishness, but sacrifice. This is the person you marry. This is who you committed your life to, you know, good, bad, ugly, and different. And you have to sometimes say, well, you know, I would rather just go ahead and go get it, go through and deal and be and and keep keep it home so that you don't open up and sometimes it will be like that i mean sometimes it might be one of them things where oh well i know we ain't did nothing in a while let's just let's get it in you know <laughs> let's do this because you know and you know everybody's got that threshold where you know and and unfortunately with all the temptations and everything out here in the world just keeping it real you know um would you rather just go ahead <laughs> and get it in and and go on about your business <laughs> afterwards and yeah. make sure you know i mean and sometimes it's going to be the other person, you know, so you it's all about it all goes back to once needs moves, desires. It all flows back into that. Like like we said, this is going to be the yes. domino that goes into each other. But it you really do have to be selfless a lot of times and just understand that, you know, you, you can't keep saying no. You can't keep closing the door because yes. you're opening Pandora's box. You really are. Let's just keep it yes, all the way. Definitely. You open up the you op and men, too. You, listen, you know, what was that saying that you said somebody told you? Was it your dad or your pop-pop told you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's far. laughs> he told me as far as when it comes to women, if she ain't giving it to you, she's giving it to somebody because when that box get hot, it needs to be scratched. <laughs> or when the kitty cat part needs to be rubbed or yes. something. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> Look, these old timers know what they talking about. You better yeah. listen to your grandparents. <laughs> you better listen to these old folks. <laughs> they listen. <laughs> okay, so that's it for that one, one for me. Not being selfish. All right, and then I guess I'll introduce the next yeah. one. Keeping the connection. So what we were talk we we discussed this as um, when we were putting this series together, and and I touched on it a little bit previously, but. Sometimes, unfortunately, in the perfect you know the perfect world, you got your own house. Da, 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 da. Sometimes circumstances are that you are sharing your home with someone, or you are living with someone else. You know, you got family members, da da da, all kinds of stuff. Kids, Kids whatever, yeah. brothers, you know, live with their family, whatever it is, and it will end up pulling you away because in those circumstances, not just the sick, it doesn't just affect the sexual life in in a marriage, but it affects other areas of your marriage. And yes. that will lead itself into we're not being intimate. Um, and then you just have to pull yourself away. Go get yourself a little moat, you know, go park somewhere. Go. We've had to do it. Mm -hmm. There was a time where we found this little, I don't even know where you took me. <laughs> Back in the woods somewhere and we got oh, it yeah. in the car, you know, because <laughs> listen, you know, we had to get away from a crowd house because in our beginnings, you know, we did live with his mother. It was a house full. Yes. And 
it was and we were at each other's throats and because we just didn't have that intimacy that connection that quiet time that just us time you know we in the living room everybody was doing that kind of thing we always yeah. were holed up in our bedroom and it doesn't mean we was up there getting it we had our kids we were blended and sometimes you have to silence the noise and you have to just pull yourself away so what and i'm gonna be yeah. honest with you like we said we're keeping it you know it actually saved our marriage we literally went to and went and got a room Saturday and got up from the room, whatever, and went to church Sunday. Like we, and it, it brought us back together. It was like, oh, hey, how are you? How you been? Who are you? Oh, you're my husband. Like yeah. it was really, it was, it was, that was crazy, babe. Like I got to say, now I see it. Think no, about it. Was. Like that was, wow. That we say to this day, because that, that just, night just saved this marriage. Between just, just the, the temperaments, the attitudes, the, you already know you're not getting what you need or want. But on top of everybody else, and then you trying to, you know, stay quiet, not let people know that you're all going through stuff, and and you know, then with the kids then... also on top of it, trying to make sure everything's nice between us for the kids, and it just it, it happens. It, it just so we went and got an outside sitter. And everybody was where they needed to be, and we got a room. And sometimes, look, take two, three nights in a room, you know, so, and it yeah. don't have to be the the the. Waldorf hysteria, <laughs> hysteria, whatever that big old, it don't have to be that expensive. Go get yourself a little motel, six, eight, whatever, you know, and just, or sometimes just take a drive. Sometimes we used to just go take a drive. I mean, one time we just went to Walmart, walked around and hand yeah. in hand just to reconnect and get. So you have to keep connected. You have to take, step outside the, 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 the cloud of everything that's going on. And you sometimes do just have to set yourself apart and just, just, it's because when the kids leave, when whoever does whatever, when when it's all said and done, it's just the two of you. It really, yes. truly is the two of it's just the two of you. And if it's worth it to you, and you love this person, and you're committed to this person, and this is who you want to, you know, grow old with, you know, you have you have to make those conscious decisions to keep connected and go have the date nights and go listen. And people sometimes think it's corny. Oh, you penciling in and scheduling sex? Yeah, because that's what works. Yeah, in this if marriage. it works exactly. You know, if that works for your marriage, then, then that, that's what you do. Because when, when they going through their stuff, they're going to ask you, well, darn, how y'all yeah. keep it together? Do what years? works for you. You know, you have to do you have to do what works for you. Remember, we talked in the first episode. Get this. There's no norm. It's what works for you and your marriage. So stop letting people add. Their, listen, and, and especially them people that aren't married or ain't been married long or ain't never even really had a long term relationship. Want to come tell you anyway, I'll, I'll be out. <laughs> Whew, anyway. So, but yes. you already went into the other thing anyway, as far as what work with, for, uh, well, with, you can go with into others. A little more. Doesn't mean it's going to work with who you decide to get married to. Right, right. So especially when it comes down to sex. Maybe you had a certain move with a certain someone that it just wowed them and yada yada right. and this and that. Okay, you try that with your spouse and it's completely opposite. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn... And it's it's almost like a training, studying type of thing where you do have to get committed and, and really figure out how can I satisfy her? Mm -hmm, how mm -hmm. can I satisfy him? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look, there's like I used to watch porn. I don't anymore, but still, at, when I was younger, I did. And look, there's some guys that might get off from getting fellatio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they might not get the same satisfaction from actual intercourse uh -huh, uh -huh. you have to know that and, and learn that and understand it so okay even though that's what you need you might have to do that first right and then he could come and give you what you need right right so it, it's you you really have to learn and and discuss and talk and just be real yes like, yes you do you know and then um sometimes it's not even so much the physical act itself sometimes it's the approach. Sometimes how you mm -hmm. warm a person up just talking, like the way you flirted with your ex, might not. It might fall on deaf ears. Sometimes it might be vulgar, but they like it, and this exactly. they don't. You know, it's like who? Why you don't be calling me out? My, like you know. So you, it's not just the physical act. It's all aspects of you yes. have to. But that's what the communication goes into. Moves and you have to learn your person, and you have to continue to to stay in tune with that person and learn that person and learn what changes and, and you know what they like and you have to act accordingly i mean you just have to you have to relearn you have to drop some of them old habits 
and, you know, learn that this person, you know, does not like or likes this, you know, and there's really no, that's pretty much cut and dry. Yeah, I mean, no, there's really is, no other way around is. that. You have to get, you know, and you can't be stubborn because you're comfortable with doing it that way and they just need to adopt. That's not, no, that, no, that, 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 that definitely that does not work. work. Yeah. That, and then you're going to wonder why you ain't getting it. Well, you ain't getting it because you turn the person off because yeah. you keep trying to do to them what somebody else liked and it's not working for them. You know, but then, but the other flip side of that is be part of communication, be open Yes. Say, listen, I, that doesn't, don't be afraid to say, you know, even if you're not in the bedroom, you know, when you're having what we said, those aforementioned date nights, you know, yeah, sit down and say, talks, listen, when you do such and such, or I just really don't like that. I would prefer, you know, because some people, it's actually even a turn off for some people to try to tell somebody how to make yeah. love to them. That in itself is a turn off. So you, you just have to find that's that. That's why I say you really have to mm -hmm. be attentive and, and just know, like, if you hit a certain spot and you see a certain reaction, you know, okay, that's that works. That's the point. Like, <laughs> let me note that and make sure I hold on right. to that. And but that's what you, you really have to pay attention and right. be observant and, and just pretty much be on your game at all times. Mm -hmm. You can't mm -hmm. go slacking. Exactly. You can't be trying to sand the fence if she wants you to wax the floor. Like, <laughs> it's... <laughs> And vice versa, ladies. <laughs> vice versa. If you're used to a, somebody or past lovers where, you know, they got off on fellatio like he was just saying and your husband doesn't really like it like that or he likes it enough, but he really prefers to get between you, then you have to that you got to change it. You can't just force him because you happen to like giving, you know, but then that also goes back to not being selfish. She all intertwined yes. because, you know, if well, she likes it and that's something she likes to give, you got to kind of, you know, let her give it to you and. You know, so forth and so on. So, um, and if it's as long as it's not anything that's causing hurt or harm, and it's not you know going to put you in the hospital or you know make you have to see the doctor too often, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, there are no rules to this. They're your rules, what you make and what you cultivate and create in your bedroom and your marriage. Period. So, um, I guess that takes us into. So, listen. So, what we're basically saying in this, and we've said it all, and, and it's been detailed, but. You know, it's all about learning yes. each other, learning what works in your marriage with each other. And it's work, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. It's work. A lot of okay? work. Okay. Because after, and we're talking about, we're not talking about the honeymoon phase where you can't get enough and you don't care who hears you and da 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 da, -da. <laughs> We're talking about after that little cute season change has shifted, you know, um, you won't have to deal with some of this. <laughs> yes. This is what we're, it's all about being real. But that lends itself to what we were saying when we touched on it just a little bit in episode one. Dating is sometimes dating life and having, you know, when you're intimate and having sex, when you're dating each yes. other, I'll just keep it on the realm yeah. of when you're yeah. dating your spouse before you get married, not your other dating people, you know, um, relationships. It can be a lot easier <laughs> than dating married is life. much easier because... You don't have that commitment yet. Right, right, like, right. Especially if you're not if, living together. If, if marriage hasn't been discussed, and yeah, if you're not cohabitating, it, it's more of a, I could kind of do what I want. Yeah. Even if you are committed to the relationship dating, you're not seeing anybody else, but it's kind of like, okay, well, if we ain't living together after we go out to dinner, if we get it in, I could get up and go home. I ain't got to deal with helping her, her with, the with the kids and this and that and yada yada be, because... I got my own place to go to. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's a choice because there's a difference. See, that's the difference between dating and marriage in a lot of ways is, you know, I mean, of course, you have a choice. Nobody's holding a gun to your head. But, you know, dating, you have more choices in the what you can and want, don't want to deal with. And da, 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 da. You yes. know, if you're dating, you can kind of skate out. Well, I don't, he got his kids this week and I don't really want to go over there and deal with that. You, you can yes. you, you can do that when you're dating. There is no choices like that. And also another Point that I wanted to hit on with the whole dating aspect versus marriage and keeping in with the theme of what we're discussing, which is our um, your sexual life. It's easier because you you can you're prepping for this all day long. You already got the babysitter set and yeah. ready. You know, you can get home and clean the house up a little bit. Get online, pay them bills real quick or whatever, handle whatever you got. And, you know, OK, bae coming to get you such and such time, whatever, whatever. We're coming over such and such time, you know, and you're already ready. <laughs> yep. Whereas when you merge your life together, y'all doing that. That's all like yes. he, he coming home too. y'all got to deal with whoever too. maybe he got to come home and you got to have the kids ready and packed to go 
so he can come take them to the sitter or get mom to come over, dad or what? Like y'all, you 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 arguing about a bill or did you pay the bill or did you stop by the bank or we need to hit Walmart <laughs> and get milk before we go to the restaurant and like, I mean, all yeah. of that is merging now. So that's why we were saying like after that new, it, it, you know, we touched on it and we got a little comments back and backlash on that a little bit <laughs> about, yeah, it is. It can be a lot easier, you know, yes. um, your dating life <laughs> It can be a lot easier because, you know, you're you're in a whole day preparation sometime when you know you're going to be, you know, and you do get a little comfortable and y'all have your little sleepovers. And then if you do co start to cohabitate, but once you even with cohabitation before marriage. It doesn't change. We talked about this in episode no, one. Yeah. It does not change. Nothing change. Marriage doesn't fix anything. <laughs> it no. enhances it. It because now this is forever. It's supposed to be. <laughs> yes. So yeah. So dating life um, is a little bit more manageable and and is a little bit easier because like you said, like we were saying, you have your choices. You can prep for each other. You have that little space between where you know, and you're ready for it. You're planning for it. You know Thursday night and then. You don't have that when you're married. Yes. You have to. You have to continue. It's to just you got to date. get in there and juggle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got to help each other. Jump in. You know where you can. So, um, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's pretty much it for this episode. So, the next one we're going to be doing, we don't even know. <laughs> but in this series, let me get the trusty notebook out. <laughs> Needs and wants. So, in our next up, there's going to be four components. Today we just we um, talked about sex, so it's going to be finances, baggage, and emotional needs. So stay tuned for episode three, um, part two of emotional, you know, our wants and needs series under the truths, the truths about marriage. As mm -hmm. always, if you have any questions or anything like that, matter of fact, first of all. Leave some comments down below and open up this conversation because we love yes. that. We respond to all I'm comments. I'm sure somebody has something to say about this. Yes. <laughs> so feel free. Trust me. We're going to backlash from the church folk. Anywho. So <laughs> <laughs> feel free to comment down below and open up the discussion. Also, feel free to follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram. All that information will be down below. If you have any questions or advice that you would like for both of us, from both of us, um, or any content ideas and what have you, feel free to email us at lenaspearls4 at gmail.com. We'll probably be changing this email too, especially for this series. Also, what you want to say, babe? Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. We are trying to get this Subscribe, channel. Subscribe, like, share, yes. hit the notification yes. button. Yes, we're trying Please. to get this channel to a thousand or more subscribers, but we really We want to like do more than a thousand. Yeah, we really do want to more, do more than a thousand. And with all yeah. those pearls out there, I'm sure we'll, we'll go... Way beyond that. Yes. Yeah, so like, so just remember, subscribe, 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 subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of every time we upload. Cheers, babe. Mm -hmm. You're going to end up, you're going to end everyone like this. <laughs> Until next time, take care and be blessed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>